Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem we're looking at a sequence of numbers where each term is 10 greater than the preceding term. So if the first term is 15, the next term is going to be 10 greater, is 25, then 35, 45, and so on. So for this, this is going to be the first term, so n equals 1, and the next term n is going to equal 2, n is going to equal 3, and n is going to equal 4. And this is for the nth term in each sequence. So this is what n is representing, the first term, second term, third term, and fourth term. So if you notice here, the difference between all of these is 10. So this is a constant rate of change, which means this is going to be a linear equation, not exponential. So that means these two equations are out of the picture. It can't be A, it can't be B. That's going to be one of these two linear equations right here. So what we can do is we can just plug in n is equal to 1 for the first term, n is equal to 2 for the second term, and so on. And what we're going to see is that these values are going to pop out for only one of these. They're not going to work for both. So for c, f of 1 for c, plugging in 1 for n in this equation would be 15 plus 10 times 1 is equal to 15 plus 10 is equal to 25. So if c was our answer, the first term would be 25, which we don't find. We find the first term is 15, so c is not going to be our answer. So now by default, we know that it's going to have to be t, but we might as well plug it in. It's not going to take very long. We can see that f of 1 is equal to 15 plus n is 1. 1 minus 1 times 10 is equal to 15 plus 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 times 10 is 15 plus 0 is 15. So in this, for d, f of 1, the first term is 15, which is what it actually is. Every time you add 1 to n, you'd be adding 1 over here, which would be multiplying by 10, so you'd be adding 10, so that follows too, and we get that d is going to be our answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.